Hey guys, welcome to another episode of UK Year We Grow. Um, in today's episode, I'm going to show you how I plant my giant potatoes. The first thing we need is a potato. The variety is quite important. You're looking for a potato that has proven genetics that can grow big. And the variety I'm using here is Condor. Now, um, I struggled this year to get hold of Condor, but uh, I did manage to find some. First thing we're looking for, though, is some nice dark chits, okay? We chit them exactly the same as you would any other potato. And if you don't know how to chit potatoes, there's a link here which will show you exactly how we chit ours. So, we're looking for a nice dark chit. Once we got that chit, okay, how you would normally plant your normal potatoes, you get your bucket of soil, you put your potato in and you just cover it. We don't do that with, or I don't do that with giant potatoes. Instead, we need a knife. Now, what we do is we're going to cut the chit out. Get a nice knife, all right, and your potato with your nice big chit on it, all right? And we're literally gonna cut a cone right around the potato. So we go into the potato and literally just cut a cone with the potato. And this is what we're looking for, guys, okay? A little cone of potato with a really nice chit on it. And that is all you need for giant potato. Now, the reason we do this is if we were to put this whole potato in, there's about 12 other chits on this potato and it's gonna throw lots of shoots and each of those are then gonna grow new potatoes. And what, we were, what we're trying to do here is limit the plant to just one tuber. Normally, we would plant in a 30 litre bucket or into the ground or whatever the case being. But with this, we wanna plant in a pot. So with just one single chit, we can Put it into a single pot okay and what this allows us to do is as every time we pot on this pot we can put mycorrhizal fungi on the roots which will help that plant grow bigger now if you don't know what mycorrhizal fungi is um there's going to be another link up here which will help you out with that but but essentially what it does it's another sort of fungal uh, that lives within the ground and it attaches itself to the root system of other plants and it actually gets what it needs from the plant and in return gives nutrients to the plant. So that's what we're going to do here. Now I've got a mix here, it's quite light, we've got some perlite in some uh, clover compost, okay, and there's a little tiny bit of feed in it, not a lot though, all right, but just, just enough because there's already enough in the feed. Folks, ignore the rain. I'm really sorry. It's uh, been really bad here today. And all we need to do is fill up this container. About halfway. Just like this. And we're going to sit that shit right in the middle of the container. Let me come and show you there. Okay. We sit that shit right in the middle of the container and then just fill it up. Tap it down. And that is essentially how we do it. Don't forget to label. And I've named these Condor 2. The reason for that, guys, is because I've already done one sowing and we're going to have a look at that in a moment. Okay, guys, so what we've got here now, these are old flower buckets. There's going to be loads and loads of them around in shops and things like that. You can go into most places. They either sell them really cheap at like a pound for like eight or something like that, or you can get them free of charge. This is the next size container that I go up to before it goes into its final pot. Now, obviously they don't have any holes in because the idea of these things was to hold water while the flowers are in the, so in the shop for display. So I've drilled a load of holes, as you can see, and around the rim about um, two and a half centimeters, three centimeters up, maybe an inch, something like that, okay? So what we need to do now is put this in. Now, this 
compost here is made up very similar to how we've sold them it's got some perlite in it it's some um, clover compost but i've added some feed to this there is uh, a little bit of seaweed meal in here and also some blood fish and bone this is the main sort of feed that we put into our potato and we will because we're going to do an experiment this year and, and try different methods um, we're going to feed separately besides and we will cover that in a later video so what we need to do in here now is just put a load of this into the bucket and the easiest way to get get this right guys i want it about half an inch below the surface to hold water but the easiest way now is to fill this up with a with an empty pot in there and it will help you to get a good so get your fingers in around that pot firm it down that's the important bit here and we want to take this soil up to the pot level There we are if you can press it around the sides guys not too too mad because obviously the potato has got to go into that but if you can press it around the sides then you'll be able to take this pot out and then you will see that it's actually retained that hole which is the perfect size for this condo potato so as you can see here this one is just condo on there it's not condo too like the others that we've done in earlier in the episode because this one was planted a while ago and we are doing um separate videos here and this is why we've got some later ones but as you can see here i'm going to come a bit closer so you can see the roots are just starting to appear out the bottom of the pot okay that's when you know when to pot up guys and in here we should have a good root system now the reason we do it in stages like this with the chit is because we are able to put mycorrhizal fungi on each time renew the feed and also um, we can look if any tubers are starting to form because we could what we want to do is isolate that down to one tuber by doing it this way if any are starting to form we can pull off those baby ones and just leave one tuber that's what it's all about but just using that single chit will um, go a long way to reducing the amount of tubers you have so again like this literally put your fingers over that plant tip it upside down as you can see here we've got quite a good root system and i'm going to just lay this down and we're going to get some of this stuff this is um, tnc mycorrhizal giant veg um, and we're literally just going to sprinkle this all around the root system And I'm even going to put a little bit on the inside where we put that pot. And all it's a case of now is just sitting this in that hole. Just topping up with a little bit of fresh compost to make sure it's right. And there we have it, guys. One giant veg potato pot it on into the next pot after this this particular potato will be going into a 30 litre bucket um, I think I've got one here to show you bear with me one second so that's the next size it's going up into and for a lot of our potatoes guys we will be leaving them in this bucket all right um, but this year we've got some 50 litre, 60 litre and 70 litre buckets as well that we're going to try them in. And we, we've got um, two, four, six. We've got 12 in total with the six that we've just potted on today. Um, and we've got different times that they've been potted and they will have had different feeds and they're going into different size buckets. And so that's the experiment we're going to do. So there's three different things. It'll be three different size buckets, three different types of feed, and two different time that they were uh, planted as chits, okay? Um, all the varieties of condo, um, there are others out there that you can use, 
but um, we decided to utilize condor this year now what I will say okay is that make sure you've got a good root system when uh, when you pot that up replace your label so you know exactly what it is give this a really good drink all right and maybe once a week give it a, a, a little feed with seaweed but at the moment I'm not feeding because there's enough in the uh, in the soil and um, we will like I said talk in a later video about what sort of feeds we're going to give these potatoes but that's it at the moment for for this particular one um, we just need now to get all the others planted up anyway guys that's it for this episode if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and just by just down below here you'll see a little bell icon if you press that and uh, click on that it will give you the option to be informed when we put a video up if you just subscribe you will get some feeds through but not everything so if you want to see all of our videos that we put them up make sure you hit that bell as well because that's really important um and if you like what you've seen here give us a thumbs up guys you know like like the video because that will help us out as well we've got lots more coming um so keep your eyes peeled we'll have an update on the cabbage and things like that and we'll have a plot update coming very shortly um as well as the shed build so keep your eyes peeled over the next few weeks there's loads and loads coming anyway guys that's it from me i'll see you in the next one bye bye